Hey guys, what's going on? The Gaminator is back and ready to attack, baby. And today, I'm going to come at you with a first impressions and review of the Resident Evil Remastered Collection on Xbox One. That's where I have it. So, the first thing I'm going to get out of the way, if you are a fan of Resident Evil and you are going to play this game, you're going to love it. You're going to feel right at home. and even has those traditional PS1 loading screens where the door stops and swings open when it's ready. It's very much, presentation-wise... It's going to be everything you remembered and put those nostalgia goggles on because you're going to love it, okay? For someone like myself, admittedly, I've never played the original Resident Evil and this game, it very much challenged me in a certain way and it wasn't a bad way per se, but I, I found certain problems that I didn't like with the game. For example, the camera was one of the biggest gripes I have with this game. It is very hard to you know keep yourself focused especially if you're in between camera angles and there's a zombie there now you have to have this camera system here to make some of the game systems work some of the jump scares some of the framing of scenes you know to make things more claustrophobic to make you more scared you know those things this camera has to be there it has to be like this however if there's a zombie and you need to back up a little bit and you're between camera angles it's gonna change and you're not gonna be able to see what's going on you move forward you can see the enemy you move back you're you're blind you don't know what's going on and then eventually you're going to get attacked and it's something that i'm not a fan of I, I, the camera really killed me on this one but this. the puzzle it? solving is very good the inventory system is something that i'm not a fan of as well very limited it is survival Kill. horror but it made See the game feel almost clues. abnormally padded, um, trying to keep, you know, managing your inventory, pieces. making sure you have the right puzzle pieces with you to make sure that you can solve the right puzzles. It was kind of, not hard, but it was something that I had a bit of a gripe with. Not a fan of that. Now, visually, hey, you know, they did a great job making it look like an older game with some updated visuals. It doesn't look like a PS4 game or an Xbox One game, but what it does look like is a very good looking remastered edition of a very old game. And I think that's what they were going for on this. You know, the ground looks very good, very polished. The character models look great. But, you know, again, it, it, it goes back to if you played this game, you know, in your childhood, you're going to love this. Okay? For me, I didn't see a lot of the game that I was totally blown away by. And maybe if I played this as a kid, I would have been kind of more into the game, I guess, would be the way to put it. Um, I found myself almost sitting back and, and wondering almost why it was so hot in the past, right? My friends played this game, they loved it, you know, and I never saw it as a big game, so... You know, guys, I think the game is fantastic. I think if you are someone who likes Resident Evil, you're going to love it. I think if you're someone who likes survival horror, I would give it absolutely a try. But for someone who never played Resident Evil and, hey, you like survival horror, but it's not your favorite genre, I'd stay away from this. You know, it, it's a game where you can tell the older game design elements in it. And it's one of those things where I would say... You know, maybe what the hell it's is showing this? its age just a little bit. It holds up thing. fairly well in most of its categories, but some things are showing their age. And for that, I would say I give the game about an 8 out of 10. Very good game for the right audience. And that's the key, I think, for this game. So guys, let me know what you think of Resident Evil The Remastered Edition on, on whatever console you're playing it on. I want to know. And uh, leave a comment below. As always, if you like the show, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think. Be sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. It helps me out more than you know, guys. As always, stay frosty, my folks, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.